Hi guys. Well, we're actually inside today. As we said, we're going to cover incubating because everyone seems to be uh, getting the urge to hatch. So I thought I'd just show you our way. It's not the right way. Now there might be some things we actually forget because it's quite can be quite detailed, but we'll try and show you as much as possible. And if not, just ask us some questions afterwards. Right. So tonight, for instance, I've got a batch of eggs that are actually going in. Um, these arrived yesterday. So they've been um, obviously from the girls. Some I've actually got some from online here, but. These have been resting now for 24 hours at least. Sometimes I do 48 hours if through post. But because they're from our girls, some of them, um, it's not too bad. They've not been in the post. Now, as you can see, I always date mine. So today's the 12th. So they'll be, I always put the date on that they've gone in because I do so many mixed batches. I need to know what day they were. So in seven days, days time, oh, just so you do know, you don't necessarily have to have them in the incubator like that. I sometimes put them on an angle but if you do put them up right you can fit more in it doesn't do them any harm either way so you can see those there they're on a slight angle now in seven days I use a candle it's the most basic candle off eBay I think it cost me 3 99 and all it is is a light you can even use your phone torch um, and all you want to do is you can see there's a pointy end to the egg it's not always obvious but this one's a quite a good egg to show you just excuse whopper <laughs> Um, and you candle from the top, the round end. So if you can see, this is obviously not even been in yet. But if that was to happen in seven days' time, that's a clear egg. That means I'd chuck it out. It's no good. It's not going to do anything. In a minute, when we go into the other room, I'll actually show you one that's got a bit of a spider mark, so you can see. So for now, that is basically the process for the first seven days after we've put them in. Let me just put this light. Right, and here's the incubators. Now currently, so we're at day seven we've candled, day 18 we put them on lockdown and in my, in my um, incubator, I won't open it too long just now, but in my incubator these are now actually on lockdown at the bottom. So even though the shelves are turning in the top, I've actually got it on pause at the moment, but to the right there's some shelves that are on the angle. Um, these stay stationary at the bottom now for three days, so they'll actually hatch in the bottom. Um, and also, obviously, the same in the other one. But this is day 18, so you should see some signs of pipping shortly. I've only got a goose egg to show you that's actually pipping, but you'll have to excuse the cute little gosling as well. Mm -hmm. Hello, little one, how are you? Oh, lovely. And if you can see quickly on this egg, it's actually pipping. I'm just going to shut the door so it doesn't dry out. Goose eggs are a different thing altogether, but I will go through it. I just wanted to show you the pipping on that. So when we transfer from there, we actually come over and I put these, in, I put them in here for two to three days, not even that long sometimes, but all it is is because I want to keep a check eye on them to make sure they're all healthy. A top tip if you're going to do this and you've got shavings, the chicks don't know the difference between shavings and shit crumbs. So I always put a kitchen roll on and I sprinkle the food on the top of it. That way they can differentiate between the two and they get the hang of it. Now, once they get the hang of it, we then drop them down. And oh, before you do, Sally, sorry, I just wanted to show you, I use these for chicks because there's less risk of um, drowning because they can't actually get in. It's not happened to me ever, but touch wood, but these tend to be uh, quite good for that. And then the final result, we get dropped down into a little broody pen. And we use heat lamps and we use a red bulb in them and just little things in there to keep them active. Um, obviously the food's in there. Just another thing when you're doing lockdown, I forgot to show you. I use an anti-slip mat in mine. So I put tissue underneath and put an anti-slip mat on as well. And just to show you, I run at 37.5. 37.6 and um, got a low, low humidity on it at the moment just be just because we've uh, opened the door but that'll soon get back up at the moment that's going to be 60% 60 to 70 um, and I think that's about it apart mm -hmm. from the fact we've got a lovely present from a lovely friend <laughs> as a surprise nice. these Hello. arrived this morning so this is going to be a first for me and something you can all follow along with emu eggs so in about average 50-ish days, we're going to hopefully 
uh, see a difference. Now I'm going to have to use its own incubator because a different method altogether on these. Oh, didn't show you. Fertile egg. Oh yeah. So let me just grab one quickly. So when you candle, I know that these are about seven days, maybe just under. I don't know if you can see that. There's just a slight vein and there's a slight bubble there. And that's what you want to see some active. Mm. I'll just see if there's a better one. No, it's not a good one to see. So I'll probably go with that one. You can just see slight vents. I think I'm doing, these are done early. I think there's two, these are only five days old, but you can see there's some sign there. Veins. Veins, yeah. I think they look like a spider. So on that note, apart from Wapper and Sally. I'm in my pajamas. Who's in her jammies today? No, I'm not. <laughs> and hello to uh, little Wapper Woo. How are you doing, Wapper? Bye -bye. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Speak to you all soon. Any questions, just let us know. It's really hard to fit everything in, but we'll uh, hopefully answer. Speak to you soon.